Hi everyone, welcome to the shack. Um, so it seems that winter is over and spring has started. The weather in Oxford has been uh, pretty good actually for about a week now, although today is sort of grey and overcast and not particularly warm. Um, I think it got up to like 17 degrees one day last week. And as is usually the case, uh, following the winter, there's a little bit of sort of spring cleaning to do around the shack, uh, uh, fixing stuff. Um, for me, my antenna literally got blown apart uh, when Storm Dara ripped through the UK and Oxford uh, in December. Um, my N-fed wire is supported by four telescopic fiberglass poles and um, it basically took two of them, literally took two of them out completely. Another was had, had buckled and was sort of leaning over into next door's garden and about 30 meters of my um, antenna wire was wrapped around one of the trees in next door's garden which uh, wasn't a particularly good situation um so what i did was i um well i was ill at the time some of you remember i had like a lung infection and uh, i was pretty ill so what i actually did was i put one of the rods back up and well i had to cut the wire first because i couldn't get the wire out of that tree next door so I, I had to cut the wire and left it in there now they're sort of quite old and they probably wouldn't care anyway so it's still in there somewhere um and sold a new length of wire i put a, a single pole back up um so as so i maintained the electrical length of my antenna but about 50 percent of it was no longer you know 12 15 meters in the air it was basically i ran it along the fence down the bottom of the garden and and, and round um weirdly it worked fine it matched fine um, on um, 40 and 80 meters and with the extra section sort of clipped in on the end it matched on top band no problem at all um, I don't think my reports on the skeds were quite as good as they had been previously but it certainly worked well enough and I stuck with that so where are we now uh, March sort of getting on for three months um, but because the weather's been a bit better so the first bit of spring cleaning is was to try and repair some of the damage so what i've done this afternoon is if you can see that i've erected the pole at the bottom of the garden that you can see in the corner and so where that piece of wire that you can see from it was running along the fence uh, under that tree is now back up in the air so i've now got three quarters of the antenna uh, back up um, and with one quarter sort of running along the fence so as i said it didn't make any difference really in terms of matching and I think it made a little bit of difference in terms of my signal reports, particularly those, um, as I said, from in the Oxford area and nearby. So I've done that today. Um, that took about an hour. It was a pain in the arse. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever tried to put wire antennas up, but if there's a tree or a branch, it'll get caught in it. Um, but I managed to do it and it's all now secure. Um, I checked the match. On the various bands that I obviously use most often and without the so with the additional um, piece connected in I'm, I'm getting so this is with a single setup basically I'm getting uh, 1.3 to 1 on uh, for 40 meters 1.1 to 1 on 80 and I was getting 4.6 to 1 on top band um, with that piece um, uh, disconnected I'm, I'm, I'm now getting 2 to 1 on top band which is acceptable and i'm still getting 1.5 to 1 on uh, 40 meters so it's always going to be a compromise even with a sort of section of the antenna that um uh, that sort of switches in and switches out but um uh it was good to get that done and so now um i haven't tested it yet I, I've, I've just measured the swr um i'll test it on wednesday on the uh, harwell wednesday afternoon sched and anyone that's uh, watching this um please feel free to tune in. We start on 7.150 megahertz and QSY to 3.710 uh, megahertz after about sort of 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, and shortwave listeners always welcome as are reports from outside of the club. So uh, just to give it that little uh, advert. Um, one piece of equipment that I bought when Maplin still had a physical shop in Oxford is this Iroda Solder Pro 50K butane 
soldering iron. Absolutely invaluable. I probably said this before, but this afternoon um, I had to obviously cut a section of my antenna out and solder uh, a new section in. And to have this portable uh, soldering iron uh, is absolutely brilliant. So um, uh, I don't build stuff very much. Um, you know, the odd crystal set here and there. Um, it gets mostly used for fixing stuff in the garden when uh, antennas get damaged, mainly through wind, not really through anything else. I realised a few years ago, now that I'm a radio amateur licensed and I'm build, putting antennas up, uh, wind is my least favourite um, uh, type of weather uh, for obvious reasons. So um, that's mostly what it gets used for, but it's, um, it's, been, it's proven absolutely invaluable. I mean, I couldn't imagine being out there this afternoon with an extension lead and electric soldering iron. So um, uh, again, uh, save the day, save me a, a lot of uh, work, uh, a lot of hassle, not work, but hassle. So uh, so there you go. So that's the um, that's the first bit of uh, sort of housekeeping that was required uh, for uh, spring. Um, what else is required? Well, uh, I'll tell you what else is required is uh, a, a bloody good tidy up because the shack at the moment is looking a little bit of a state, um, particularly the area where I do uh, a bit of practical stuff. Um, it's generally looking a bit of a mess. So uh, I do need to have a sort of tidy up in here at some point. Um, but beyond that, actually, probably not, not so much. Um, don't get a huge amount of time to be on air. I try to do the Harwell skeds, but even then, I don't always get time. Um, usually do on a Wednesday, but quite often not on a Friday. Um, um, so the mess here really is ca is caused by me not having enough time to uh, to do that stuff. If I've got time, I want to get on the radio or or listen to the radio. Um, I haven't really got time to, or haven't had the time to sort of sort out the absolute rat's nest of cables. Um, so that all, that does need sort of looking at. But um, about, other than that, the fact that my um, uh, amateur radio, my NFED wire antenna is now back up and running, um, I'm sort of fairly uh, good to go. The other thing I did actually was that um, the uh, this thing here, the Bias T um, that Tim um, sent me, which I use to uh, shut down the power to my Welbert loops, which are at the bottom of the garden. Uh, when I'm transmitting on the wire, um, it started playing up the other day. Um, it was kind of warbling and there was some weird stuff going on with it. And um, I thought, I don't know, I've got a problem. I've got RF getting into one of the interconnecting cables or not. But then I realized that I'm actually, ru I've been running that um, bias T on that um, U-cell, Y712, uh, 12 volt, seven amp hour um, sort of ledger battery. And I haven't charged that battery up for quite a long time. And I, I realized, well, that's probably what the problem is. And um, so I put a meter across it and it was actually putting out about nine and a half volts. So uh, I've charged it up to uh, back up using my uh, Maplin um, sealed lead, lead acid battery charger and um, put it back on the uh, uh, Bias T and that's now all working perfectly again. So, uh, so it's all good. Um, and while I was recording this video just before, I was, um, I was, I was going to try and work a station because uh, GB6 SPDs um, celebrate special event stations celebrating St. Patrick's Day is on air. I only had a chance to call him once, but um, I might try again. Anyway, so that's a little bit of housekeeping, spring cleaning for uh, the shack. Um, I'm sure there'll be other stuff that I've got to do that I can't remember, but I thought I'd share that uh, with you. And uh, yeah, interesting to see if... Um, my reports improve slightly now that I've got another sort of 15 metres or so of antenna back up in the air rather than running along the fence. So uh, it's all good. Anyway, thanks for watching and 7-3.